Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Tucson, Arizona. Welcome to another guided meditation by yours truly. Today, I have something a little bit special for y'all. Why should you give a shit about this car? Well, um, hold on, let me make sure that I don't ruin it. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Zoom in on that right there. Show them all. Show them. You know, you know. That's right. It only has 7,800 miles on it. What am I doing? Well, he bought a uh, factory GT Aero kit for this thing. It's uh, sitting over in the safety of the paint booth over here. It's all OEM poor stuff. It's all super nice quality. And uh, I'm going to color match it and get it ready for him so that he can take it to a concourse show in a couple weeks. So we got a front bumper cover. We've got the rear spoiler with the little deck lid piece. And then we've got some side skirts. So this ought to be fun. I uh, dedicated uh, two weeks of my time to just do these couple pieces because I know that Porsche Steve wants this car done nicely. I want this car done nicely. So we ain't gonna rush anything. He didn't even drop it off yesterday because it was raining, okay? That's, that's how this is getting done, all right? So without further ado, enjoy this guided meditation. So all this stuff came with a really nice factory primer on it. Um, bumpers don't look chewed up at all. It doesn't look like there's any damage on it or any of the parts. So all I'm gonna do is go around and put some guide coat on this so I don't miss anything. Make sure I'm getting all these nooks and crannies real good. And uh, just give it a nice hand sand in uh, 600 with some flexible sheets. Some of these guys. Ooh and uh, yeah, then we'll probably go over it with the scotch pad, with the scuff stuff, get it all nice and uh, cleaned up and ready to go.
So we are finally getting to install the uh, GT3 Aero kit on this thing. Now that it's all painted and polished up and looking pretty. And the phone's ringing. God damn it. <laughs> and whoever that is can go fuck themselves. They will wait until we have this bumper on. Now, if this was any other car. If this was any other car, I'd just I would have just dropped the, the bumper, bumper on the ground and walked over and picked the phone up. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> phone's ringing. There we go. This can wait. Yeah. My this hole, one slid in decently well. Yeah, my hole's kind of lined up. I think mine needs to go a little further. Oh, mine just went. It was the side that mine. If you want to get that in the wheel well. Behind uh, the bumper. Yeah. Well, mine's not ready to. No, mine is. Mine's in. Mine will reach. There we go. At least this isn't like that BMW bumper go. that we did. <laughs> yeah, we had a customer bring us a BMW bumper for Fred to paint. Fred painted it, and then when the guy came here to bring his car, uh, it was a different car. So he had a bumper that was like four inches wider because he bought an M bumper, like an M235, and he had a 230. That was that was a fun day. BMW owners, leave us a comment below if you know what the hell we're talking about. Because we yeah, didn't. it's yeah. There's way too many numbers and letters with BMWs to know exactly what you have apparently. Yeah, why can't they just call it real names like Civic? <laughs> <laughs> so the funnest part of all this is going to be figuring out where all this goes. You don't remember? No, I took this apart a month ago, Brandon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you did, you would not remember where half the shit went. My memory either. is better so than at least yours. We have bags. Right? This and is true. we have the things that are labeled, right? This is all stuff for the wheel arches, okay? This holds the inner fender liners to okay. the, and those go on last. Do you remember the heads of stuff? Like well, these round ones, I'm these, guessing, go underneath? These go, these are the plugs for the covers for the, the headlight okay. thing on the side. And then I'm guessing uh, these with the, the beauty but rings? A lot of these are all, so these four cover the cap. See, you do remember. Well, I'm, that goes over this. The little piece that goes over this. On the top. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna wait to put this on until we know that it lines up nice with the hood. Uh, no, it's the big one, the big taper. So unsettling. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. I think those are for that. I don't know what you're talking about, but I concur. Yeah, there's. See, this whole thing was installed by process of elimination. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it it usually works, right? Those clips were surprisingly in very good shape. I mean, still had a lot of like seven thousand miles, mostly garage kept. I'd, I'd hope so. Well, the bumper's on, and uh, I didn't scratch anything. Well, the headlights aren't in though. Damn it! For those of you that have never installed Porsche headlights, it's actually quite ingenious and very easy to uh, take in and out if you have the trunk open. You can't do it without that, so no stealing these. I can't, I can't remember what position this needs to be in though. Up? I think it's back. Like that? Oh, no, no, yeah. It, it's towards the front, but because it yeah, stops right. here and then that flips up. There. <laughs> That's it. But dude, I gotta, I gotta lock it in though, Yeah, yeah. Right? Porsche. They think about stuff. They care. That's right. You can't slam these. You have to... Yeah, the hood doesn't weigh anything, so... Yeah, no matter how hard you... That looks good. It needs to go in a little more on this side. Okay. Oh, it fits so tight on this fucking bracket. I 
don't think I could get it any closer than that. That looks good. 